the purpose of this screencast is to show you how to use Quizlet.com as a reinforcement tool in your, in your classes. Quizlet is a free web-based site where you can go in and help your students learn terms, terminology, uh, basic math equations, things like that, simply by entering data in one time. It will actually go back in then and change things to several different formats. Let's go ahead and take a look first at uh, finding flashcards. We may be able to find something here for health sciences. As you can see, all we have to do is go up to the search box right here and then do search. And here we find Health Sciences Terminology Chapter 7. This was entered on April the 5th, 2010. We left click and when we do we come up to a screen. Now we've got flashcards at the top. Everybody used flashcards at one time or another when they were growing up. As you can see, we've got Cardio and Coron O or Quran, we can see that that means heart. If we don't want to see both sides at the same time, we can actually go in and see the term first, which is cardio or corono, and then we left click on the screen where it says click to flip, and it brings up a picture of a heart and the word heart. We can then left click and continue on with sub, and that means below. Again, if we want to see both sides, we can, or we can do it whatever we'd like. Now once we've gone through the flashcards, it's time for us to reinforce that we, we actually paid attention. So we're going to come down and left click where it says Learn. When we click on Learn, it's going to bring up a quiz. As you can see, we've got 31 terms. So far you haven't had any. Now we're going to come up with Venule. And this is actually an answer, and I'm not sure what the answer is, so I'm just going to put Purple and then I'm going to answer it. As you can see it says no and then it gives the correct answer and that I've got one incorrect. So we press any key to continue and the next one is vain. And again I can put any answer I want to uh, in and then left click on answer and it will say Flebo or Vano. And again if you're right you can override and say hey I was right I just misspelled it or something and it will come back and correct it. Now we've got gland and I really don't know where to answer that so I'm going to type in give up. Now when I do you can see it gives me the answer in green but I can't go anywhere on this page because it's incorrect. One of the reinforcement methods of course is to have them type in the answer. So what you have to do is you have to type in the correct answer exactly as it's written above. If I just go in here and put Adeno, nothing happens. If I just put a Dean with the slash, nothing happens. But when I put a Dean slash O, you'll notice that this turns green and goes on to the next term. Again, I see the picture and I remember below, so I type in sub, and when I do, notice that the ball will come down, will go from 28 to 2 correct. Oh, I got that incorrect because it was sub hyphen, but I was right, so I'm going to override that. I knew it was sub. And then we've got artery and so forth. So you can go through and you can learn this over and over and over. You can show terms first. You can show the answer first, whatever you like. We'll go back to the main page now, and again, as we look down here, we've already done our flashcards. Now we're studying it. We're learning, and now we're going to do a test. Now there's two things with this test. First of all, you can come in here and you can change what type of question you want. I want matching and I want multiple choice and I want true false. There are 31 terms so what I am going to do is I'm going to change that where I want to use 15 terms. So out of the 31 terms in this card it's only going to choose 15 of them. So here are five matching, five multiple choice, and five true false. Now if I don't like the way this looks I can always regenerate the test and what it's going to do is it's going to bring in five different matching questions and five different multiple choice questions from all within that one word list. Again to match up if I wanted to say A, B, C, D, and E I can then come here and do around and femur is going to be 
here. Add noise is going to come from Adeno. Length is going to be here, and outside is going to be extra. And now I have to guess on these. We're going to call this equals vessel. I'm going to say true. We're going to say true here. Myopic is going to be false. That's going to be false. And arterial means gland. That's going to be false. Now I've gotten all my stuff done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to check the answers. And this is what's cool. Your students can come back in and they can see that this is incorrect. That it actually is heart. And on number two, the cardio should mean, should mean heart. Correct three was vessel, and then so forth down the line. As you can see my multiple choice questions, I was so-so, and on my true-false questions, I was not as good either. At the top of the page, it actually tells you what your score was. Your percentage was 53%. So your students can go in and do this self-test and do what they need to do. Now, one really cool thing about this is when you're going to create a test, why do you want to keep recreating things? All you've got to do is actually come in here and regenerate a test from the, the terms that you've got. Then you can print this test and I'm actually going to see if I can't print it to uh, my Adobe PDF converter. And as it prints in, I'm going to leave this right here at the health testing health sciences. And it's going to create a PDF document that you can then put online. You can also print it out as a hard copy to your printer and give this to your students as a test. Now one good thing about this, how many of you have actually heard somebody say, well, you know, that wasn't on the material that you gave us to study. We didn't know that was going to be there. Well, because they have been to Quizlet before, they can't say that anymore. Because what's going to happen is, here is the paper that they're going to get. As you can see right at the top, it says Quizlet. It tells you where it's from in Quizlet, so they can't say that. When you go full screen, there's your test, so you can download that to your students. So that's just a pretty cool thing right there. Now, let's go back to the, to the dashboard. How do we actually create one of these groups? Well, that's very simple. We'll come here, and we will go to Make Flashcards. The title will be demo. The subject will be anything. Who can use it? Just uh, everybody can use this. Now I'm going to enter my flashcards. Here's how difficult it is. Let's do artery. As you can see it says auto define artery. So what I can do is I can left click on that and it will go out and find different ones. A blood vessel that carries blood from the heart to the body. And we'll choose that as the correct answer. Now we can just go ahead and if we want to have the text right there. If we want to we can add images to it. Now what we want to do is we want to search for an image. We're going to say for artery and you can see here's a picture we don't want to use that one. Here's some nice interesting pictures of an artery so yeah we'll say use this image. Now we'll add our second one and we'll say vein. Now I will go over here and do an auto definition and we'll say any vascular bundles that sounds really impressive so we'll put that one in and again we can search for images and we will find some images of veins and I don't know if we're going to find the ones we want there we go that's a good picture so we'll use this image and you continue right down the line uh, phlebotomy that's a great word, one that I've always liked to use. So phlebotomy right here is opening to the vein to diminish the blood uh, supply. We'll go ahead and use that one and use that. And again, we'll search for them. Now you see it's got upload. That's a premium feature. We don't want to use that at this point. And let's see. We'll go through here. We'll call this a phlebotomy although it's not. And that's how you create your sets. Now we simply go down left click on create set and now there's our flashcards just like we created. Pretty cool. Now we can go to the learn mode and again it's got a picture and we have to put in what the answer is. Art stuff. And of course that's incorrect, it's artery, but that's what I said, arts stuff. So you can do that. And I mean you might know what it is, it might just be one thing that you're not using the language. You can go back then 
and do a test on it. And again, it will come up here and say this is vein. The multiple choice is artery, and this is phlebotomy, and that's true. As you can see, I got an A plus because I've got a hundred percent. So that's how you can use Quizlet. It's very, very good. Now, here's another thing about it: your your students are going to like to play games. What we can do is they've got a couple of games here. Scatter is one where you have to make everything disappear, and as it says, drag corresponding items onto each other to make them disappear. So we start the game, and now we've got the three different images. And so I would go here and say this is artery, and you'll notice it disappears. I can bring vein up here and it disappears and phlebotomy over here and it disappears. You can see I got it in 13 seconds. I can play it again. <coughs> One thing you'll notice is you've got an embed code. This way you can copy this and embed this in your Blackboard online course if you'd like to so your students can play it online as part of their learning experience. Once we go back to the dashboard, we're just going to click on Go Back to Set Page. Another one they have is called Space Race. And what you have to do is you have to kill the scroll words by typing the score corresponding term in. So we'll go here, and the first thing comes across, and I'm going to type in Vein. And then I'm going to type in Artery. And then I'm going to type in, hmm, because I don't know the answer. And when I do that, it's just going to keep doing this until it comes off the screen. When it goes off the screen, I haven't gotten the correct answer in. It's going to say, copy the answer. And the answer is phlebotomy. And again, unless I get it green, it won't let me do it. And so that's all you've got to do. So you can play this game over and over and over. And it's a great way to have fun with the students, for them to have fun learning this stuff. Again, it's Quizlet.com. You do have to create a free account with it, but you've got lots of different flashcards that you can go through and find. Health Sciences Technology, and they have nothing there, but if we just go to Health Science, or if we just go to Health, we might be able to find some interesting flashcards. And again, here's Antioch Health, Last Health Technology, our vocabulary, uh, Health Test 3, different ones. So you can find these different things and you can use them as you need to. So that's what you're going to be doing with Quizlet. Again, you've got a place over here. Now, with the studied portion, you can see what you've actually done. These are the sets that you create. These are the subject areas you've done. And right here you can see some statistics, sets created, how many terms have been entered, how many sessions have been done, how many answers have been entered, uh, if there are any messages, and how long you've been a member here. So Quizlet.com is a really great place. If you do want to upgrade to the Plus version, that's nice. It's $10 a year. And the only thing it gives you, allows you to do that you don't get to free, you get to upload your own images. You don't have to have any ads. You can belong to eight uh, unlimited number of groups, and you get a badge, which is great. So that's it, $10 a year, but uh, basically Quizlet itself is free, and you can use this with your students, and it's just a very, very great thing to do. I hope this has helped you, and if there are any, any questions you have or anything I can do to help you, feel free to contact me.